Right now, at Kennedy Space Center, SpaceX is building something that's never existed before. It's not a rocket. It's not a launch pad. It's a 380-foot-tall factory that could change everything we know about space exploration, and most people have no idea it exists. This is Gigabay, and it's about to make space travel as routine as catching a flight to another city. The biggest bottleneck in humanity's journey to Mars isn't rocket technology. It's how fast we can build those rockets. Traditional aerospace manufacturing is painfully slow. Boeing takes years to build a single spacecraft. NASA's SLS rocket? One launch costs over $4 billion. But SpaceX just said, what if we built rockets like cars on an assembly line? Enter Gigabay, a towering cathedral of steel and ambition rising at Kennedy Space Center. This isn't just a factory. It's the machine that builds the machine. And when it's complete, it will produce starships at a pace the aerospace industry has never seen. Let's break down exactly what's happening inside this monster facility and why it matters for the future of humanity. A building taller than a 30-story skyscraper, specifically designed to assemble the largest, most powerful rockets ever built. Gigabay stands 380 feet tall. That's not random. That's the exact height needed to stack a fully assembled starship on top of its super heavy booster, vertically, under one roof. But here's where it gets insane. Unlike traditional rocket factories that build one vehicle at a time, Gigabay is designed with 24 separate work cells, 24 simultaneous production lines, all operating in parallel. Think about that. While Boeing struggles to deliver a handful of spacecraft per year, SpaceX is building infrastructure to potentially produce dozens of starships every single month. The numbers are staggering. Each work cell can handle a different stage of production. Welding here, ring stacking there, heat shield installation over there. It's organized chaos. Except it's not chaos at all. It's a carefully choreographed symphony of manufacturing excellence. And overseeing this entire operation? The LR-13000 to one of the most powerful cranes ever built. This mechanical giant can lift 1,300 tons and position rocket sections with millimeter precision. It doesn't just move parts. It orchestrates the entire vertical assembly process. Now, you might be thinking, why does building rockets faster even matter? Great question. And the answer changes everything. Traditional aerospace operates on what's called serial manufacturing. You build one thing, test it, fix problems, then maybe start the next one. It's careful, it's methodical, and it's incredibly expensive. SpaceX looked at that model and said, that's exactly what's keeping humanity stuck on Earth. Gigabay represents a completely different philosophy, parallel manufacturing at scale. Instead of perfecting one rocket over years, you build many rockets quickly, learn from each one, and iterate at lightning speed. This is how Tesla builds cars. This is how iPhone factories produce millions of devices. And now, this is how SpaceX will build starships. But the innovation doesn't stop at the factory floor. Connected directly to Gigabay is one of the most audacious engineering systems ever conceived. The Launch Tower Chopsticks. Yes, you heard that right. Chopsticks. These massive mechanical arms are designed to catch returning super heavy boosters mid-air as they descend from space. No landing legs, no massive landing pads scattered across the ocean. Just precision catches that allow immediate refurbishment and relaunch. SpaceX has already demonstrated this technology works. They've caught boosters weighing hundreds of tons traveling at high speeds. And now, Gigabay is designed around making this process routine. Catch a booster, roll it back into the factory, inspect, refurbish, and return it to the launch pad. All within days, maybe even hours. This isn't just impressive engineering. This is the key to making space travel economically viable. Every time you throw away a rocket, you're throwing away tens of millions of dollars. But if you can catch it, 
refurbish it, and fly it again? You've just changed the economics of space forever. But Gigabay isn't operating in isolation. It's one piece of a much larger puzzle. SpaceX isn't just building a factory. They're building an entire spaceport city. Look at Kennedy Space Center from above and you'll see the vision coming together. Launch towers rising from the ground, propellant production facilities, integration buildings, landing zones. It's all connected, all designed to work together as one massive system. The goal? Multiple Starship launches per week. Not per year, per week. Elon Musk has stated the ultimate vision. A fleet of starships launching with the regularity of commercial aircraft. Need to send cargo to orbit? There's a starship launching Tuesday. Want to send satellites? Another one's going Thursday. Planning a Mars mission? We'll have a convoy ready for the next launch window. This requires infrastructure humanity has never built before. You need propellant production at massive scale. We're talking about thousands of tons of liquid oxygen and methane. You need multiple launch towers to avoid bottlenecks. You need ground systems that can turn around a rocket in hours, not months. And you need Gigabay, pumping out starships fast enough to keep this entire ecosystem fed. The vision is breathtaking. A fully integrated spaceport where rockets are produced, launched, caught, refurbished, and launched again in a continuous cycle, where space travel becomes so routine that it fades into the background of normal industrial operations. Now, before we get too carried away with the sci-fi vision, let's talk about reality. Because as impressive as Gigabay is, SpaceX faces some massive hurdles that could slow everything down. First, the FAA. The Federal Aviation Administration has to license every single Starship launch, and they're not exactly moving at SpaceX speed. While SpaceX wants to launch multiple times per week, the FAA is still working through environmental reviews, safety assessments, and regulatory frameworks that were written for a different era of spaceflight. Elon Musk has publicly criticized the pace of FAA approvals, arguing that regulations are moving slower than the technology itself. And he's not wrong, but navigating this regulatory maze is essential. You can't just launch rockets whenever you want, no matter how revolutionary your technology is. Second, technical challenges that haven't been fully solved yet. Orbital refueling. This is the big one. For Starship to reach the Moon or Mars, it needs to refuel in orbit. That means docking two massive spacecraft transferring hundreds of tons of cryogenic propellant in zero gravity, all without creating a disaster. SpaceX has demonstrated ship-to-ship -ship propellant transfer tests, but doing it at the scale needed for Mars missions? That's still in development. Then there's the heat shield. Starship returns from orbit at over 17,000 miles per hour, hitting the atmosphere like a meteor. The ceramic tiles protecting it need to survive extreme temperatures while being durable enough for rapid reusability. SpaceX is iterating on this with every flight, but it's not perfected yet. And let's not forget the engines. Raptor engines are engineering marvels, but they need to be reliable enough to fire dozens of times without major refurbishment. That level of reliability takes time to develop. Third, the sheer complexity of scaling up. Building one rocket is hard. Building 24 simultaneously? That's an entirely different challenge. Supply chains need to be flawless. Quality control needs to be maintained across every work cell. Any bottleneck in the system can cascade and slow everything down. SpaceX is learning this in real time. But make no mistake, these are solvable problems. They're just not solved yet. So why does any of this matter? Why should you care about a giant factory in Florida? Because Gigabay isn't just about building rockets faster. It's about fundamentally changing what's possible for human civilization. Right now, space is expensive. Prohibitively expensive. Only governments and the wealthiest corporations can afford to operate there. That limits what we can do. Limits scientific research. Limits commercial opportunities. Limits human exploration. But if SpaceX succeeds, 
If Gigabay enables cheap, frequent access to space, everything changes. Satellite internet becomes globally accessible and affordable. Climate monitoring becomes comprehensive. Space-based manufacturing becomes viable. Mining asteroids shifts from science fiction to economic reality. And Mars? Mars becomes achievable within our lifetimes. Musk's vision has always been to make humanity a multi-planetary species. Gigabay is the factory that could make that vision real. Not in some distant future, but in the next decade. This is infrastructure for the future of humanity, and it's being built right now. Gigabay is more than a factory. It's a statement of intent. It says, Space is no longer the exclusive domain of nations and billionaires. It's going to be routine. It's going to be accessible. It's going to be where humanity's future is written. The challenges are real. The path forward is uncertain. But if there's one thing SpaceX has proven over the past two decades, it's this. When they build something this audacious, they tend to pull it off. So keep watching Kennedy Space Center. Because what's rising there isn't just steel and concrete. It's the launch pad for humanity's next chapter. What do you think? Will Gigabay revolutionize space travel? Or are we getting ahead of ourselves? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the future of space exploration.